Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to achieve a specific aspect ratio to your videos on Adobe Premiere so that you can see the two horizontal black bars you see in movies. Aspect ratio is the ratio between width and height of the frame. It depends on the camera type and setting and also on the editing process. To know more about aspect ratio and its role in visual storytelling, feel free to check the videos below in description. They were really helpful and informative. Now let's see how to achieve that look to our videos. At first, I will explain it on After Effects because it is more clear to see the changes that we are making. Then we are going to apply it on Adobe Premiere. If you watched other videos on how to achieve the aspect ratio, you will see everybody using one of two methods. The first one is adding two black bars using a transparent picture with two black bars. The second method is using crop effect on the video. But if you wanted your video to be more professional, especially if you are sending it to a contest or a film festival, there is another way. Let's look at these three movies. The first one is a full HD Blu-ray version of Inception, which should be 1920 by 1080. But if we look at the file detail, we will notice that it is only 1920 by 800 pixels. Let's open and see. The aspect ratio is constant during the whole movie and it is 1920 by 800 which means 2.40 as an aspect ratio. If I stretch the video frame, those black bars will disappear because they are not part of the video frame, they are just here because of the ratio. Let's move to the second movie, Interstellar, which is also a full HD Blu-ray version. If we look at the file detail, we will find that the frame size is 1920 by 1080, which is the full frame. Let's have a look inside the movie. The movie was shot with different cams, so we see two aspect ratio during the whole movie. There is a 2.40, we saw an inception, and the 1.78, which is the ratio of 1920 over 1080. If we try to stretch the video frame, it won't, because it's already in full size. The same happens as the 2.40 footage, it is restricted due to the smaller ratio. The last movie is a 720 HD Blu-ray version of the Florida Project, which should be 1280 by 720 pixels. But if we look at the file details, we will see that the frame size is 1280 by 576, which should achieve a 2.39 aspect ratio, which is much similar to the 2.40. Now, let's make a full HD video with 2.40 aspect ratio and let's see how this works on After Effects first. We have this full HD footage of Breaking Bad, which is as you see, 1920 by 1080. Let's see our composition setting, which is like the sequence setting in Adobe Premiere. If we look here, we can see that the ratio is 1.78, we want to make that 2.40 like Inception, so we are going to drag the white down to 800. Now the aspect ratio is 2.4 and you can see that the composition trimmed a part of the footage. Now let's do that in Adobe Premiere. I have the same footage here. Let's open the sequence setting and set it to custom. Then we drag the whites down to 800. We will press OK. OK again. Now we have our footage with 2.40 aspect ratio. Let's render that. We will call it 2.40 aspect ratio and export. I already exported it to save time. Before we go and see it, let's do the other way that I don't like much, which is leaving the sequence setting as the same as the footage and we will place a transparent picture like that. Or we can add a crop effect from here like that. We will crop it from the top 15% and from the bottom 15% now let's render that and we will call it the old way okay now let's go and check these videos let's open the first one as you see there are no black bars they only appear when I open the movie in full screen and if I stretch the video frame it would stretch let's see the second one as you see the bars are part of the footage, which is kinda not professional 
it doesn't look good and if we try to stretch the video frame it won't one last thing if i took a snapshot from both the videos by pressing f5 button in media player classic the snapshots would look like that that is the first one and that is the second one okay that's everything i hope you liked this video and i'm sorry if it took too long i hope it helped you making great videos good luck and thank you